welcome to the WSO2 API Manager's first tutorial. The WSO2 API Manager is a free and open source solution which helps you to design and publish your APIs to the outside world. The first step of the tutorial is to download the product from the product site. You can download the latest version of the product by clicking on the download link. This will download the product into your file system and the product name will be WSO2 AM and which is version .zip. You can unzip this file into a preferred location and you can go inside the home directory of the product. Inside the home directory, you will see the bin directory which contains the startup scripts of the server. The wso2server.sh is a startup script that can be used in Linux and Mac OS environments, whereas the startup bat, server startup bat can be used in Windows environments. You can start the server by executing the following command in a Linux or Mac environment. You can also browse through the getting started links available on our site. You can go through the documentation, the quick start guide, the developer guide, as well as the installation guide to find more information on installing the product. Once the server startup has been completed, you will notice the API publisher and API store URLs being printed on the logs. This is the URL of the API publisher and this is the URL of the API store. You need to go into the API publisher to be able to design and publish your APIs. You can log into the API manager's API publisher using the default user which is admin admin or you could create users as you prefer. In this tutorial I have a user named John who has permissions to create and publish APIs using the WSO2 API manager. To find more information on how to create users and roles, please browse through the documentation of adding user roles and adding users available in the documentation site of the WSO2 API Manager. Once in the API Publisher, I can go and click on creating a new API. And as you can see, there are three options for creating an API. One is, I have an API definition which can already be used to create pre-populate my API. This API definition should be in Swagger format and I could either upload my Swagger file or provide Swagger URL. The other two options are related to me having already having an API backend which is up and running. It could either be a SOAP backend or it could either be a RESTful backend. For the first case of this tutorial, I will be going with the REST option and deciding to design my API from scratch. I will click on the start creating button. And when you are presented with this form, you need to provide the information that are necessary for your API. In this case, I am going to create an API which proxies the Open Weather API, which is an API which provides you weather information of particular cities. Therefore, I will name this API accordingly. I will provide a context and a version and a name for the API. And now I can also provide an image so that the API looks nice on my API store. Then comes the section of defining your API resources. This particular API has a resource named weather. Therefore, I will be creating my resource with the same URL and creating, selecting the option of get since I'm only interested in doing a get for this API at this point. This particular API, as you can see, also expects a query parameter. I can define this particular query parameter by clicking on this and providing the parameter name as Q, clicking on add parameter. Then I can go into the next section, which is implementing my API. The implementation of the API could consist of two parts. A managed API means I already have a production ready backend service for my API which I can proxy through the API manager. The prototype version means that my backend service or my API is not yet production ready. It could either be a backend endpoint, which is not yet production ready, or I also have the option of mocking my API responses you can use in JavaScript. You could write some JavaScript to mock your API responses for the purposes of testing your API. In this tutorial, I will be using the managed API option where I will be expected to provide the URL of my API as my backend URL. Once I have provided my API URL, I can go into the next section of managing my API. 
In this section, you will be expected to provide the transports and tier of the API. The tiers of the API means how much request your API can handle at a given time unit. The default tiers include gold, silver, bronze and unlimited. Each of these tiers can be modified and new tiers can be introduced as you prefer. I can also provide some, the business owner of the API to specify to whom this API actually belongs to. As you can see, there are a lot more information in this form. We will not go through them in detail for this tutorial, but instead we will now be publishing this API using this information that we provided. I can do that by clicking on save and publish. Once you do that, your API has now been published. You could go into the API store to view how your API has been created. I will click on go to API store. And here you can see that your API has been created. And if you click on API's link, you can see your API being listed under WSO2. That is the first option of creating and publishing your APIs. There is also another way of creating your API where if you have a an existing Swagger definition available. So in this case, I have a sample Swagger definition available for you and I will demonstrate how you can create your API using that. I will select the file that contains my Swagger definition and I will click on start creating. In this section, you, could, you would see that your API resources had now been populated from the Swagger definition. You can have a look at the Swagger definition and edit it if you prefer using the embedded Swagger editor as well. In here you will see the content of the API in JSON format and you could edit it if you prefer. So that's it on creating and publishing an API and in the next tutorial we will look at how we can access this API from the API store and publish it to the outside world. Thank you.